Hey guys, this is TK. In this video, we are going to take a look at a man in the middle attack using a DHCP server. And in our next video, we are going to see how we can mitigate this kind of attack uh, using uh, DHCP snooping configurations in Cisco, Cat uh, Cisco Catalyst series uh, switches. Uh, so we have a real DHCP server that we are uh, providing clients and IP configurations and right now this uh, client is uh, already received an IP address from this server and we'll see soon there's an attacker comes online with a fake DHCP server and as soon as the client release and renew the IP addresses address configuration on this machine uh, it's going to receive an IP address from the fake DHCP server and uh, the, 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 this, this machine basically is going to redirect all the client's traffic towards itself and then send out to the network uh, and intercepting all the client communications uh, so this particular machine is going to uh, is not going to know anything about it because uh, it receives a IP address and then uh, it has its normal communication uh, to the rest of the network so right now this is the client machine the victim and if I take a look at it it received uh, 192.168.1.100 from the DHCP server 10.1.1.1 uh, and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1 so let's take a look at the diagram uh, 192.168.1.1 is actually a SVI on this switch uh, let me put that over here as dot one over here the SVI and the DHCP server is 10.1.1.1 and here and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1 which is the SVI and in this SVI we have configured IP help address to forward the clients uh, DHCP uh, request broadcast uh, uh, packets. Uh, now we are going to uh, bring the attack online and let's see uh, how uh, what's going to happen when the client uh, release and renew the uh, the IP addresses. All right, so it receives an IP address let's check the details so it received an IP address from the DHCP server 192.168.1.13 basically it receives the same IP address here 192.168.1.100 and the default gateway uh, it's the, the one that uh, it's important to us that it's it's 1.13 uh, which is the uh, the attacker so basically this 192.168.1.13 uh, assign an IP address to the uh, to the client to the victim and also it uh, send himself as the default gateway uh, to the client so now we'll, uh, we'll uh, take a look how client is going to communicate let's first of all see if it can co still communicate with the with this uh, the real server let's ping the real DHCP server okay so it's responding so what we'll do is we'll start a sniffer capture uh, at the uh, from the attacker machine And say if I telnet into the real uh, DHCP server, uh, which is a router basically, and make this connection. Now, from the attacker, I should be able to intercept everything that uh, what client did, and I see that the password and everything. 
so so this is uh, this is the problem that we are going to uh, solve basically uh, there's a fake DHCP server came online and assigned an IP address and a default gateway to the client uh, and redirecting all the traffic to itself and sending back out to the network and then basically intercepting all the communication uh, from client machine to the rest of the network. In next video we will take a look at DHCP snooping and see how catalyst switches uh, will mitigate this kind of a uh, attack. Thank you.